Hey guys, this is Ryan from Cuddlescape, and in this video we're going to teach you guys how to kill demon flash mobs and uh, hopefully make quite a bit of money. Alright, so in this guide we're going to teach you guys the basic requirements you're going to need to kill these things, the inventory setup uh, you should have, uh, where to find these, how to kill them, and most importantly the rewards uh, you can get from killing them. So, hope you enjoy the video. So to kick things off, we're going to go through the requirements you're going to need to kill the demon flash mobs. The most important thing you're going to need is dark light, and it's recommended that you complete dimension disaster so you're able to upgrade your dark light. The reason for this is that dark light has increased damage and accuracy against demons, as well as its special attack is extremely good for demon flash mobs. You're going to want to have supers or extreme potions. Overloads are highly recommended for the obscured demons uh, as they lower your stats, but we'll go further into that later. Prayer does not matter at all when killing these things, so you don't need to worry about that. 80 plus melee stats are recommended if you're going in solo, and so you're going to want some tanky-ish armor unless you're uh, maybe 99s in your combat stats. So Barrows minimum is what you're going to want. The next armors do work quite well though as well if you can afford those. Because you're using Darklight as a main hand, then your offhand isn't going to matter too much. So you can afford to get something lower leveled, such as a Jessica's Sword. But obviously things like Chaotic Offhands or a Drygor will work better. A Silent Surgeon's Ring is probably the best ring to have here, as its passive effect will give you a chance of reducing the adrenaline cost when using a special attack or a threshold, which, which is extremely useful since you're going to be spamming the special attack of Darklight quite often. You're going to want 84 Herbal for Adrenaline Potions for the fastest kills, as you're going to want to drink one of these after you use Berserk. Any Aura is really useful, uh, Vampirism is quite good, especially if you're soloing just so you don't need to bank as much. And you're going to probably want 96 or 67 Summoning for a War Tortoise or a Pack Yak, just so you can hold extra food. It's not a huge deal if you don't have these, as you can quite easily bank in between kills. As for the inventory setup, you're going to want a set of potions, so either extremes or overloads, an adrenaline potion, a super anti-poison potion, as there are some demons, depending on which spawn you get, they might poison you, an enhanced Exc Excalibur is helpful for the special attack and the heal, and you're just going to want to fill the rest with food, as prayer is uh, not a factor when, that you need to worry about when killing these. So 15 minutes before the demon flash mobs actually spawn, there's going to be a message in your chat box that's going to tell you where they're going to spawn. So it's recommended you take note of the spawn, and then you hop to different worlds and take note of where all the spawns are. And then, so once you've noted down, say, at least 10, then you can go through and you can kill them all. Some spawn in the wilderness, and these spawns are not recommended to kill. There's a spawn north of the duel arena, which you can get to by using a ring of dueling. There's east of the Uzu Hunter area, you can use this by using a Dominion Medallion and then you go east or use a Magic Carpet to Uzu and then go west. There's one south of the Bandit Lodestone. South of Paws Phasmaeus, a Nectophile, or south of Canifus Lodestone. Uh, an easy way to get to this one is just do the Canifus Lodestone and then run towards Araxor and then you'll sort of pass it on the way there. Directly south of the Taranwin Lodestone. Directly south of the Edgeville Lodestone. North of West Ardy, so use the Ardy Lodestone and then you run west. Feldup Hills, it's north of the Fairy Ring Code AKS, or northeast of the Uglog Lodestone. South of the Sears Village Lodestone, southwest area of Lumbridge Swamp, or west of the Dig Site, which you can get to easily by using the Dig Site Amulet. So if you get to a Demon Flash Mob that's just spawned, or you've been camping a spawn for a while, uh, you, he's going to spawn and then he's going to have a couple minions around him. So he's going to have six imp heralds around him with 2450 hit points each. He's going to have four lesser demons which with 30,000 hit points each and two black demons with 60,000 hit points each. With the demon itself in the middle of everything starting with around 200,000 hit points. So the demon in the middle will start sacrificing his minions by about a tenth of their health every second and it'll heal him for the same amount. So you want to kill the imps first, which will allow you to be able to kill the lesser demons. Then once you kill those, you'll be able to kill the black demons. And then once you kill those, you'll be able to start killing the, the actual demon himself. So by the time you get to most of these flash mobs, he would have sacrificed his minions. And so he'll be sitting at around 400,000 hit points. 
as opposed to 200,000 when you're just starting out. So just be prepared for that, uh, but the upside to that is you won't need to kill any of the minions as sort of he sacrificed them himself for you. So the flash mobs can actually despawn, as there is an hour cycle where a new one will spawn and will sort of despawn the old one. So say you saw the message that one was going to spawn at 7.15, and so then they spawn at 7.30, if you're still killing that mob at 8.14, say you hop to other worlds to kill those ones, and you're coming back to this one at 8.14, then chances are it will despawn, and then the next wave uh, will sort of warn you when the next wave is going to start spawning. So each demon has two titles, a prefix and a suffix. There are four prefixes and ten suffixes total, all providing different benefits to the demon himself. So for the prefixes, the general, the demon's going to have accurate melee attacks. Executioner, he's going to have high damage. Castellian, he's going to have high defense. And a deacon is going to have multi-target ma magic. So for the suffixes, if there's an area of effect, it means that it's within three squares of the boss himself. The Blazing has a magic damage over time. The Infernal has a magic area of effect and damage over time. The Glorious stuns on hit. You can try and freedom and, and anticipation, so you sort of can kill them quicker, so you're not stunned sitting there doing nothing. Frostborn has a stun, but it's an area of effect, so same thing with the Glorious, you can use freedom and, and anticipation. The Corrupting poisons you in an AoE. It stacks pretty high, so having an anti-poison is going to be very useful. The Pestilent is a single target poison, so same as Corrupting, you're going to want an anti-poison. The Rending has a melee damage over time. The Shattering has a melee area of effect. The Obscured has a stat drain on hit. If you don't have overloads, then you're going to want to avoid uh, killing this demon in particular. And lastly, there's the Terrifying, which has the Adrenaline gained, so that can be pretty difficult. Adrenaline pots are definitely very useful for him, and he also has a bind on hit. Now that we've basically gone through everything, uh, here are just some tips to help you out. Try and avoid the terrifying if you can, because if you're going for max kills per hour, then you're going to want to avoid these since the half adrenaline gain really decreases your kill speeds. The DPSs, if you're in a group, they can pray, but the tank can't. If the tank starts praying, then the demon is just going to start hitting absolutely, like, a lot, and then just completely destroy your tank. Um, but it's completely fine for the DPSs to use things like turmoil to help make the kill go quicker and it won't have any effect on the kill uh, as long as they're not the ones being focused by the demon. If you want to use ranged as opposed to melee then you can use holy water which is a main hand thrown weapon obtainable during the legends quest however it has no special attack so it's not going to be as good as dark light since it doesn't lower def uh, the stats of the demon. Now that you've killed the flash mob, you're probably going to want to start getting into the loot and the sort of things you're going to be expecting from these things. So they often drop rune armor, such as plate bodies and plate legs, and they have sort of just some average drops like noted herbs and seeds, and they often drop ore, bars and logs all noted. Some of the bigger drops include demon slayer gear, which isn't worth a lot anymore, but what you're mainly after when killing these things are the titles. Now the titles, they have a range of prices from 5 to upwards of over 100 mil. But what you don't want to do is look at the grain exchange prices uh, or the wiki for how much these are worth as they often go for the street price so you're going to want to look around on forums and such. Some of the titles such as the Blazing, Glorious and Frostborn are upwards of 100 mil each. So that's a lot higher than what the GE says so if you get a title drop make sure to have a look around on the forums and see how much it's actually worth before actually 
uh, selling it on the GE or anything like that. Thanks for taking the time to watch our very first guide here on Cuddlescape. Be sure to let us know what you think and uh, any ways we can improve. And we hope it helps you learn how to kill Demon Flash mods. So uh, let us know if you get any good drops or anything. So thanks heaps for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video.